Hello everyone, my name is Odinson and this is Modded Minecraft. Direwolf 21.19, this is episode 23. And today we're going to keep going with our Batania stuff. I know we're skipping around between mods. i got this going, the Batania stuff. Uh, Hexerai, I've got Ad Astra started. I'm constantly progressing in Applied Energistics with the auto-crafted stuff. But today's episode, we're going to be making a bit more progress on this. Now I've got the old... Uh, Yeah, they're already built out. I've got the old Endo Flames here, producing some mana because we're not that great on mana at the moment. I made another four flowers, by the way, so we've got eight of these bad boys here going now. Um, which is helping a bit, but I've also got the stuff in my inventory to get stuff going. So what I wanted to do today is uh, get into Terra Steel, which brings us to the next stage of um, Batania. In order to make Terra Steel, we need to have this terrestrial agglomeration plate which means we need one now we've already got rune of earth and rune of air stored in our um storage drawers over here but um one thing i do know we need we need a rune of water a rune of fire and a rune of mana now i got all the ingredients together ready to go for it so we're just gonna get started i guess and um we will start with the rune of mana because that's the easiest to do <clears throat> All right, so we go one, two, three, four, five, a mana pearl. That starts it up. All right. I'm thinking we might have to dump some of our mana tablet into here and sacrifice a little bit of movement speed for a bit. Look at that sugar cane, it's ridiculous. Yeah, we're going to have to get into some serious mana generation somehow. Getting a bit ridiculous. All right. <clears throat> okay, nearly there. There we go. Living rock. And one. Sweet. And that gives us our single rune of mana. It doesn't give us two. So next up is a rune of... Which one is this? Can't even remember. Rune of... Uh, no, rune of fire. Yeah, rune of fire. Ba, 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 ba. We want one of them for the moment. All right. You, you, you. You, you, that starts up our rune of fire. It should be a bit quicker. The rune of mana is the most expensive to make in terms of actual mana. It'll be night time again soon. Uh, I need this. All right, two thirds of the way there. We're still making mana, which is probably good. I mean, look at this. Okay, living the rock. One, our rune of fire. And finally, our rune of water, which is bone meal, fishing rod, sugar cane, mana powder, mana steel. So, one, two, three, four, five. Cook. Okay, ticking along. All right, we're out there. Less than a quarter still on that. Not great. Oh my God, seriously? Guys. Like, guys. Guys are stupid. Um, get rid of that. Um, that, we don't need them. We can get them anytime we want. 
All right, we're at sunset. He's done over here. So we're just gonna living rock, wand, rune of water. All right, so we can lose those two, they're spare. Okay, so we've got our one, two, three. <clears throat> and we need these two. That's our five runes that we need for that plate. And then we need the block of mana steel, so that's nine iron and three blocks of lapis. Our iron quickly. And then we're going to get our lapis whilst we're here, so we don't have to, uh, like so. One, two, three. Okay, let's get the mana steel. So mana steel, as I said, iron ingot into mana, job done. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, and then we go three like that. <clears throat> And then we should be able to make this. Perfect. So that is our terrestrial agglomeration plate. Now I know we need five more blocks of lapis for this. Oops, one too many, never mind. Okay, now we've been using these mana spreaders, but they're not really very quick and very efficient. And one thing we do want to make, which is way more efficient, is these things called sparks which is just any two petals like so gold nugget and two blaze powder and the reason we want to do this is because they just <clears throat> it's just so much faster so what we do is if we shift click there that goes there all right i know i need um four of them shovel and I'm just going to make a 3x3 three three here, so... Oops. Ah, yes, of course. Alright, let's get a bit more dough. Take one, two, three. Alright, and I know the pattern goes something like this. And then we have our five lapis blocks. So we have the checkerboard and then we put our plate on top like that. And then we're gonna stick our spark there. And then we're gonna link. Oh no. I might need to look this up. I can't quite remember how this works. Do they automatically link? Okay, uh, back to there, back to there. Uh, mana manipulation. Sparks. Sparks are interesting things created for a combination of raw energy and mana. They can be placed on any of these mana containing or accepting blocks, known to be mana pools. Certain blocks have the blah, blah, blah. Place this spark over a mana pool and over another nearby block can accept it, that can accept. It will allow the latter to access the former's reserves on demand. To remove a part, we'll sneak right click. Regular right clicking will show whichever sparks this one can transfer to. Okay, so that's what we need to do. So if I do that, there we go. We can see that this one will transfer to that one, which is good. <clears throat> so now I need to look for Terra Steel. a better size here we go this has just come up okay so we've done that one mana steel ingot one mana diamond and one mana pearl and it will begin the infusion blah 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 half a mana pool's worth of mana to create one single piece er my god wow that kind of sucks <laughs> We need half a mana pool. All right. Well, let's get our inventory sorted out and we're going to um, do a thing. 
we've got time left in this episode so what I'm gonna end up doing is put that away put that away put that away we're gonna go for a mine um yeah we're fully charged there on a tablet all right it's all good because we definitely need some more coal i believe uh let's see one two three four five six seven eight all right i mean it's not too bad i mean we can um look at all these fireflies around get this going but we need some more coal after this faux show sure. go I'll keep ticking that up. <clears throat> uh, we can probably do some more lava now whilst before we go mining. Um, yep. You. All right, let's go mining. Get some more coal. I know I'm actually recording in the daylight, so I need my lights on. So give me a sec here. There we go. There's a bit more light on my face, so I'm not in shadow so much because I'm recording in daytime, which I don't normally do. But I was beyond caring of darking out the room and putting the lights on today. So, All right. I found good coal going this way, so let's go this way. Uh, and, of course, we're on single block. There we go. Uh. Let's see if our luck holds going this way. Doesn't look like it. Wow, this actually sucks. Where the hell is all the coal? Yeah, yeah, iron, copper. Good thing about having these, but this Britannia uh, sash on now means I can keep up with the mining laser. Here we go. Right. take the emerald coal A couple of stacks could do with a couple more. Perfect. Oh, looks good. Yep. One, two, three, four. I mean, I guess that will do. Uh, through this way. Do is put that in there. Good. That puts a hole in there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put that away. Nyum. Don't even have to open doors anymore. 
Okay. Ah. <sighs> Why did they not get eaten up? Oh, because they haven't finished yet. I was that fast. Okay. Uh, bucket away. Give me my wand of the forest. Nearly at a quarter. I wonder if we can time in a bottle this. Is that making a difference? Okay, these endo flames are filling up. <clears throat> Don't think that works. <laughs> these are both still on cooldown, are they? Nope, that one isn't. Okay. I really want to just, yeah. All right, now it's finished. Um, nice. Right, so what did I say I need? And I needed a mana diamond, mana steel, and mana pearl, wasn't it? Oh. Um, and an ender pearl. Uh, let, uh, let. So once we have half a pool of mana, we are going to be able to make our first terror steal. It's raining. All right, so I guess we're going to come back. Um, we still got 10 minutes left in the episode, so I don't want to just like stand around and wait with you guys. Um, we'll be back soon. All righty, I'm back. And I realized that um, we did have music for the first half of the video. So stupid me. Sorry about that. But it, as you can hear, it's playing a little bit now. All right. We have more than a half a mana pool of mana. I used a little bit of my mana tablet just to finish it off. So, according to the book, I just do this. <clears throat> nope. Guess not. Alright. Um, we give this a go. Yeah, that's it. Like that. Okay, guess that's not gonna work either. We did come prepared. 
That spark just not working now. Um. There we go. It's definitely sending the mana across now. We'll see. It's going to take a bit though, isn't it? To transfer all that mana. I mean, that should be working. He's done. Okay, he's done. So I can um, get another bucket of lava going on that as well. Alright. Um, we'll take a nap out here whilst we're waiting. Yes, we just have to wait. <clears throat> right, let's take that nap. Okay. Both on cooldown. Already decreasing that fast. I guess we could take a look whilst we're waiting and uh, not that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um, sparks being the most efficient mode of transfer. Multiple sparks pass and it mana will accelerate the process. <clears throat> um I see what the problem is. I got this the wrong way around. Wow. Okay. Ha! Huh. Uh, what we need is the living rock. And now we need the lapis. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do that and then I'm going to right click on that. <clears throat> now this time, maybe this will work a bit better. There we go. Now the spark's working. Oh, God, guys. Seriously, no. Go away. Oh, 
All right, this is decreased rapidly now. Okay, this is actually working now. Wow, I can't believe I messed that up. Go away. There we go. And we have our first terror steel. Perfect, so that should have opened up another chapter in here now. Uh, so that's fully unlocked. Okay. Um, and manipulation. So we've now got mana on rails. Blah, blah. That's what he's my lenses. Blah, 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 blah. God, I believe I have to actually open all these for that to go away. Go away. Mara lenses, mana mirror, mana splitter, mana void. <coughs> mana tide bellows. What the hell is this? Increases the speed of mana pool's output. Ouché. All right, um... Functional flora. Okay, we got more of these now. <clears throat> Slow growth of crops. Yep. Turning it into pellets of clay. Cool. It uses mana to push any items in front of it forward. Whatever. Exo flame. Mana to generate heat. Ball and grenade. Aura of healing from mana to apply a regeneration effect. Nice. Hop a hock. Yeah, move stuff around. Hyacidus. Nearby mobs bringing them to their knees after a wait for a one hit kill. Okay. Jaded Amaranthus. It will grow new mystical flowers. Cool. Julia. Fly that for a small mana drain, keeps any nearby animals or monsters at bay, protected the circular area and true. Okay. Includes metamorphosis in nearby stone blocks. These blocks are transmogrified into one of eight different types of metamorphic stone. All eight types will generate everywhere, but the types that will generate more will often depend on the biome. Blah, 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 blah. Nice. Talk. Okay, it's good. I know that. Medurin. Hold a creature's movements. Feeding animals. Whatever, pick up and place. Tangleberry. Any animals or monsters within a circular ward. Tiger's eye. Keeps creepers away. Pinky Lotus. Hijack the powers of any Enderman. Forced to the location of the flower. Kinda cool. All right, natural apparatus, botanical breweries unlocked. Okay, cool. Mystical items. I'm not really too interested in these. Overgrowth seed, we will. Terra steel armor, we're gonna do. Assembly halo, no. Horn of the wild is useful. It clears out tall grass, bow. Blaster, and a weave, manufactory, got all the rods and the pasture seeds, they make the floating flowers, so all the rods, we'll come back to them later. Guys, rather the terra firma, spellbinding cloth. Stone of Temperance. Okay, Terra Blade. Terra Shatterer. Terra Truncator. Thorn Chakram. It's a thrown weapon, okay. Vine Balls, yep. Vitreous Pickaxe. World Shaper Sextant. Cool. Kind of. Trinkets and accessories. Rings. Third eye, tiny planet, sojourn a sash we already got. What's the tectonic girdle? Eliminates knockback. Eh. 
and the artifacts. Yep. Alpha Mancy. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. The portal to Alpha. And this is going to be our next step with Batania. Um, we need to build this. We need the Elven Gateway Call. We need Natura Pylons. Fine. That just needs nuggets. That just needs nuggets. They were in Living Wood. That's just normal Living Wood. Plus some nuggets. We build this. Ugh. Mana from all pools, blah blah blah. At least two mana pools with Nashura Polands directly above them would be needed within an 11 by 11 by 11 area around the core. The initial activation of the portal we believe will cost a huge amount of mana from said pools and would be performed by right clicking the core with a wand of the forest. Alright, so that is the next thing, but we need a whole lot more mana to be able to do that. And we ain't got much left here. Yeah, look at that. Barely anything. But we're going to keep it ticking. Okay, at least we know the sparks are working and that works properly now. But we do have our first terror steal. That was the aim for me for today. A lot longer, as always, than what I expected. But we did it. Um, so that brings us to the end of episode 23 and until next time, as always, stay safe.